Good morning, Wingate. I'm Jenna. And I'm Sarah, and this is News 52 This Morning. To start off this great day, please stand for the moment, for the pledges in the moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. And now for a moment of silence. Are the strategy you to use on game day author's purpose hi before you begin make sure you determine what's the author's purpose to persuade inform or entertain don't forget to highlight key words in the questions the key opens the door to the question so that you know what you're trying to answer also find your text evidence make sure and prove go back into the passage and find what you need to understand and know the answer. Write down your proof. What paragraph did you find? Where did you, where did you get that answer? Summarizing. After you've determined if it's fiction or nonfiction, use our summary strategies for the whole passage. It's either five W's, who, what, when, where, and why for nonfiction, or it's somebody wanted but so finally for fiction. And that's for the whole passage. Get the gist. Write a short. Write some short phrases, a couple sentences, something for you to help you help you understand what the paragraph is saying. Or get the gist notes. You know what that paragraph is talking about. All right, guys, you got this. Strategize hard. Put your game face on. The way you practice is the way you're gonna play on game day. So you own it. Good morning, Wingate. Hope you're off to a great start this morning. Yesterday, everybody did fantastic. Fifth grade students, you worked extremely hard. We're so proud of you. One more day for, for a long time. You don't have to worry about the science uh, test for a while, so one more day today. Uh, make sure you buckle down, do the best job you can. I uh, know that we're going to be very proud of the effort that you give today, so uh, hang in there. We're almost through with tests for a while, so Keep up the great work. Teachers, wonderful job. Thank you so much. Sixth grade, you did a wonderful job yesterday moving through the halls, trying to be a little bit quieter through the halls. We need to maintain that today. Remember, the bells will be off. And the same thing at the very end of the hall by Mr. Storm's room. Those lockers are off limits after this morning because we have testing going on in the computer lab down there. Uh, we also need to be a little bit careful on the, uh, the lockers next to the red doors down in Hall 6B because there is a computer lab behind those lockers where students are testing also. So let's make sure we don't slam those lockers, make sure we close them softly as much as we can to uh, give those fifth grade students who are testing in there uh, the best environment that they can have for, for today. So thank you so much for working hard again. Uh, keep up the great work. Very proud of y'all. Proud to be a Woodgate Panther. Have a great day. Now for your weather. 
currently is 69 degrees with cloudy skies. Today, the high will be 79 degrees with a chance of storms. Looking ahead to the weekend, look for sunshine and highs in the 70s. Now for your sports with Sarah. Thank you, Jenna. In the NBA, Rockets beat the Cavaliers 106 to 100, and the Warriors barely beat the Wizards 102 to 94. In the World Cup qualifying, U.S. beat Guatemala, Guatemala 4 to 0, and Mexico beat Canada in a close game 2 to 0. That's all for sports. Now for today in history. In 1870, 146 years ago, Texas President Ulysses S. Grant signed an act that remitted Texas into the United States. Boys to Men and Chess Club meet Thursday after school. Only 45 more days until summer. Good luck to all fifth graders on the star. Have a great day, Woodgate. Shorts are out of control. Principal's coming down the hall. It's time to go rock out the star. Yeah. Please, go answer those questions. Please. Go answer those questions. Please. Go answer those questions. Please. I know how. Please. Go answer those questions. Please. Go answer those questions. Please. Go answer those questions. Please. I know how when we walk into class. This is what we see. Everybody starts using strategy. We'll pass the star, we know it. We'll pass the star, we know it. Yo, when we're in the class, teachers working to help us pass. And when we're at recess, playing hopscotch like all the rest. This is how we roll. Come on, teacher, it's time to go. We headed to the class. Don't be nervous. Pencils, paper, let's just do this. Please, go answer those questions. Please, go answer those questions. Please, go answer those questions. Please, I know how. Please, go answer those questions. Please, go answer those questions. Please, go answer those questions. I know how when we walk into class, this is what we see. Everybody starts using strategies. We got. We'll pass the star, we know it. We'll pass the star, we know it. Uh-huh, check it out, check it out, yeah. Shopping, 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 yeah. Shopping, 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 yeah. Shopping, 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 yeah. Shopping, 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 yeah, yeah. Do the shopping, man. I do the shopping, man, yeah. We'll pass the star, we know it. Please, go answer those questions. Please, go answer those questions. Please, go answer those questions. Please, I know how. Please, go answer those questions. Please, go answer those questions. Please, go answer those questions. I know how.